T. So, I mean, the Eagles are lucky they're this close okay, to this point. Um, the big problem they've got is they're just getting killed at the line of scrimmage. I mean, the, the Cowboys are really, with the exception of uh, Hargrave, mm -hmm. who continues to play well, committed a dumb penalty. But other than that, he's, I mean, he's the one guy that's playing well inside. But when he's not on the field, they can't, they can't even slow the Cowboys down. And as I said in the pregame show, I think you can see this is a different kind of Cowboy team. Um, the fact that they now mix up Pollard and uh, Zeke Elliott, mm -hmm. that they've got two backs on the field, and they're both different kinds of backs. Elliott's the power back. Pollard is kind of the quick slashing back. Gives them um, a more diverse and challenging offense, frankly. And you're seeing that while Prescott – has put up very good numbers so far in the first half. Really, the pass works off the run. I mean, everything they're doing right now is their, their run is setting up the pass, and the Eagles' defense just doesn't seem to have any answers. No, they don't. And when you look at, at the, the run game, uh, Sanders ran it twice for 27 yards and then Hurts three times. That's the run game, the extent of it. Hurts is 7 of 12 for 102 yards, sack one time, and a uh, long of 38, 51.4 passer rating. One of the other things we talked about during pregame live is when uh, whether the Eagles would rise to the occasion, whether Nick Sirianni would be able to have his team and himself meet the moment. And it seems like anything but they're not meeting the moment. And I'm wondering how much of this falls on Sirianni and, and the game plan he has prepared. Jonathan, uh, um, the, the Gannon. Gannon, thank you, the defensive coordinator, the game plan that he has prepared because when Dallas has the ball they're going right through them they are they are um and it's um uh, Kellen Moore it's a very interesting little subplot here Mike that uh, I was thinking about all week um Kellen Moore is now the uh, offensive coordinator for the Cowboys uh and I think I've seen him over the last couple of years really grow in that role I think he's becoming one of the better offensive coordinators in the NFL. I mean, he's the one that kind of came up with this two running back thing that they didn't have before. Um, I think his play calling is really good. Does a good job of keeping the other team off balance. But I don't know how many people remember when the Eagles were looking for a head coach in this offseason, they interviewed Kellen Moore. And they chose Nick Sirianni. So, you know, I think Kellen Moore is yeah. kind of preparing in this game thinking, okay, you yeah. know, if you didn't think I was going to be – head coaching material here take this how show, do you like this show you what you're missing yeah, yeah yeah I mean I'm not look you could never in a million years get him to admit that that that's in the back of his mind um but I think it should be uh I mean he did interview for the job some people thought he had a shot at it and then you know Jeffrey Lurie you know interviewed Nick Sirianni decided he was the guy and okay maybe he will be ultimately in time but I guarantee you, coming into this game, I think there was a little bit of something that Kellen Moore felt like he wanted to prove. And in the first half, with the way this offense has moved the ball, I think he's proven it. He sure has. And you mentioned the Cowboys running backs. Ezekiel Elliott, 11 carries for 60 yards. And Tony Pollard, 10 carries for 56 yards. So one guy, Elliott's averaging 5.5 yards per carry, and Pollard's averaging 5.6 yards per carry. Mm -hmm. so, so they're doing it. And, and Prescott's throwing the heck out of the ball. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's – I mean, he went us through a stretch there where I don't think he missed a I – mean, I don't think he missed one. He had like 12, 13 in a row. Um, and they have a real nice combination. I mean, you got to respect C.D. Lamb. I mean, he's always your deep threat. Um, but then they work all the other stuff underneath. The tight ends get open underneath. And especially when they motion and Prescott runs out of the pocket, he always has that tight end trail play where the tight end runs with him. And it's always just kind of an easy pitch and catch on a third down play. Um the Cowboys have just really got a nice offensive flow going right now, and you can see the Eagles just don't seem to be capable of slowing it down. Yeah, and to start right out the gate, six plays, 75 yards in three minutes and 13 seconds. It's not like a two-minute drill, but it's not far from a two-minute drill. So I would say to you, Ray, I have, as a, as a Philadelphia observer, an Eagles observer, they got no shot in the second half. Um, now, obviously, <laughs> they're going to make the modifications, et cetera, but they look so bad in the first half. What do you think they could possibly come back and do in the second half? Well, um, the one thing, if, you, if you're the Eagles, and I'm sure Sirianni is stressing this right now, is, look, we get the ball to start the second half. You know, we got the ball. And if they take it, if they come out and they cut down and get some points, 
you know, they're, they're, they can be back in it. But the, the real problem is they just don't seem like they're able to really get control of the Dallas offense. If the, Eagles, if the Eagles can get their offense going a little bit and get some points on the board, that's fine. But it's not going to matter if, if the Eagles' defense can't shut the Cowboys down. And right now that seems to be the problem. 20-7, to seven, the Eagles trail the Dallas Cowboys. Week three, coming off the loss against San Francisco last week. We'll see what happens in the second half. When the clock hits zero, we're back with you on NBC Sports Philadelphia. Ray Barrett Brooks, Seth Joyner, and all the interviews from Nick Sirianni to Jalen Hurts to Fletcher Cox all coming your way when the clock hits zero. Enjoy the second half. Go Birds. Let's hope they do it.